Hey guys, it's me again, and I just wanted to make a quick update video. Um, basically about holiday and holiday weight gain and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've gained some weight during the holidays, and I feel pretty frustrated. But I think the reason that, you know, gain weight during the holidays is a lot of habit change happens um for multiple reasons um you're not as busy well th this is the reasons i noticed for myself um i'm not as busy um you know school like for college there's break so i'm not as like my t my mind is more like free and just um i get more cravings because it's cold and it's in the winter and there's holiday foods all around and I think this year I made it, like last year during the holidays I had no problem, this year I had like a slip up basically, a holiday slip up I will call it. And what happened was, I think, also the camera's like angle, like I feel like it's going down slowly so I'm gonna like just fix it, okay. So I feel like I was going, how do you say this, so because I was getting like weight loss effects I kept like decreasing, not in decreasing but um, trying to be a bit more strict and you know rebound like your body will not like that so I gained weight in result so it wasn't even just the holidays it's you know your lifestyle and like all of that should be could be easily you know kept if you follow it and don't do things like that but my mistake was that I just went too strict and too low in calories and my body didn't like that and so it, like I had like binges. Um, I still did one meal a day but it was binging. Like I've done one meal a day for like over a year and I have not had it like, like there's a difference between a binge and eating a big amount of meal, you know, Does that, if that makes sense. Um, and those who struggle with binge eating and um, any of that kind of category will know what I'm talking about. Um, so before when I had to, when I made sure I had enough calories and uh, all of that, I was, you know, pretty um, like stable. Binges were really rare. I didn't have any binges. My weight was stable. But then after this years of summer, when I lost a lot of weight because of just like it's when in summer, for me, it's easier to lose weight. I'm outside a lot, I love being in the sun, I will sweat a lot, I'll be very active. Um, I didn't have an appetite, I really didn't, and I just wanted like fresh fruit and like peanut butter and celery, and the foods during summer, like salads, um, were easier for me to, you know, weight loss than in the winter when I'm craving, um, when I started craving more like cookies and stuff like that. And I didn't eat anything processed, but what I was doing was I was afraid to let go of my results I got during summer. So what I did was I tried to have like a lot of fruit during, you know, the winter still have that like strict like, but I didn't, was not enjoying it. And because I was not enjoying it, I would eat a ton of fruit, but then I'd be like, oh, but I want something cooked. And like, like that's when my binge would kind of start. So um, at, during the holidays, I did that. And um, I ended up like, I slipped up on Christmas Eve. I was also very stressed at the time. I was doing a job and then another job and it was just too much for me. And I was, like, honestly, I don't stress eat um, unless I'm super hungry. And I think I was just being super, like I was not being kind to myself. I was not being in tune. I was not listening to my body. My body wanted, was craving cooked stuff. And if I had like just a cooked bowl of oatmeal with banana, I would be fine. No, I was like, I was like, no, I have to have fruit, and I would just, like, not enjoy it, and then I was, on top of that, I would crave whatever's left, and I would just eat so much, and just, it was like that, and I've been in those kind of stages before, but I think it was easy for me to realize what the problem was, so I'm starting to um, listen to my body again, and I did gain some weight, I don't even want to look at the scale, but I feel it in my clothes, I feel less confident, but what I'm just focusing back is to get back on track and start with baby steps. Um, I want to, what, it, what I'm doing now is I want to have, just listen to my body. And actually when I did that, I did crave like fruit and stuff, but I also crave cooked stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have 
some fruit and then some cooked stuff one meal like still a day like um because in the end i was doing one meal a day not for weight loss it was for mental clarity it was for being more productive in the day it wasn't just about weight loss it was about more than that it was to prevent binges um, because i had a problem where i would just eat all day and couldn't stop so having a set rule and time um, made me enjoy my food more made me more in tune made me um just like a lot like there's a lot of benefits to it and i had to re remind myself why i was doing it and that it was not about weight loss it was not just about number on the scale and um i don't know just that just helped me because i want to um my hair's kind of crazy sorry about that <clears throat> i want to like focus on uh the good you know sides of it and i think when i focus on the weight it becomes I, I can't listen to my body when you're focused so much on the weight you can't listen to my body i still do want to be a healthy weight um but how i'm doing that now is i'm listening to my body and trying to make improvement habits that i will be able to sustain not just like oh try, just try to eat fruit for that one meal you know in the winter when it's cold and i don't want fruit because in the summer that was so easy i wanted to do that like i didn't want i remember trying to have like I was like, no, I have to stick to cooked foods because that's what I did in the winter and it worked. Um, but I didn't want it. And I, once again, I was not listening to my body. So now I know, I learned that kind of lesson that just listen to your body. In the winter, if you're craving more cooked, eat more cooked because it's cold and you want cozy, comforting. Um, I think there's, you know, there's seasons and there's a time for everything. And I think that's just how it is. And what I'm trying to do now is that, yeah, I crave, like, the sweet stuff and, like, cookies or whatever, but I try to make it healthy. So, um, right now I'm cooking butternut squash in the oven, and um, I know I can put, like, cinnamon on it and make it, like, walnuts and, like, some banana, and it will taste good and, like, a dessert um, after I have, like, lots of vegetables, you know, and, like, make it, like, um, healthy and satisfying um so yeah that's just i had a little bit of a slip up but i think it's just lesson learned more um i think it also helps to have a more consistent time which i was not really consistent with my timing of my meal i think but i think that was not that much of a problem as not listening to my body i think if you feel like you need to eat an hour earlier or an hour later i think it should be okay as long as you are still like listening to your body giving what your body is you know asking for and i think that was my main issue was not stress as much even though i i can crave more stuff when i'm stressed and but i mean i've been stressed like stress is going to occur all the time so it's like you can't always blame stress if you know what i mean um so yeah i try what well, right now i will try to um just include more f like obviously cooked foods like i made soups and stuff and once i made it it's like um when when you say no to a craving i want it more and then i will on um, like binge out on stuff that's like high calorie and on still feel unsatisfied you know so it's like but making a soup that's still like healthy for you and low in calories and make you satisfied and then I don't have the binge and I don't have the extra like whatever calories then it's like what's the point even then in restricting what you crave if you're going to in the end be unsatisfied so I just try and make it as healthy as I can balance focus on balance again and um, I'll keep you guys updated I feel mentally better um I I feel mentally better about my food choices right now, but I feel like a little bit um, disappointed that I went that way and I feel a little bit disappointed that I gained some weight, but it's like weight is weight. Um, I'll be able to fix it um, as long as like I focus on, you know, positive stuff, um, listening to my body and just that route. So I don't know if any of you guys will be able to relate, but that is just kind of my little update. And I thought, um, I don't know, I thought that sharing my, for me personally, I will go socialize a lot. And whenever I can relate to somebody, 
um, I feel so much better, like so much better. Cause then it's like, I'm not alone. And I often feel alone, like in situations like this, because I guess people don't often share, like not all the time, like you're not gonna go somewhere and people can be like, yeah, like I'm struggling with weight. Like I go to the gyms a lot, so I do hear it a lot, but you know, not all gyms will, cause I go to a climbing gym and a martial arts gym. So we're more community there, but in regular gyms, I don't know if people really talk about stuff like that. So yeah, I just want to share. Hopefully it will help someone and hope you guys have the, you know, enjoy the rest of the other videos or something. I don't know. Bye.